Happy Sunday morning. This is Deepak. I'm still in uh, in San Diego. The Science of Consciousness conference uh, just finished yesterday. So I'm actually going to be, as soon as I leave this, uh, finish this uh, podcast, I'm going to be going to uh, <clears throat> Los Angeles, where I have a wonderful, uh, uh, wonderful experience to share with uh, my friend Russell Simmons at his Tantra Tantris uh, Yoga Studio in uh, West Hollywood. So I believe a lot of people have signed up and it's uh, sold out and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm grateful for, to Russell for having arranged that and more on that later. But before I uh, left, I thought I'd do today's uh, Q&A on uh, youaretheuniverse.com. The questions are coming in from You Are The Universe, Discovering Your Cosmic Self and Why It Matters. The book is written with my co-author, Menas Kapatos, who is a quantum physicist, cosmologist, and also a climate change expert. So today's question is from Liliana Devino. She says, Dear Deepak and Menas, I hope this finds you well. In You Are the Universe, you write on page 43, you are an island of order, turning into an energy consumer instead of an energy loser. And this is critical to understand. Could you please elaborate on this a little more? I feel many of us are trying to put out so much energy than we really are. Um, perhaps we are being energy losers rather than consumers. I have noticed that daily meditation, healthy diet, staying physically active and integrating more positive words and actions have made a notable difference in my life. But I still feel often and like a shadow of the energy being I've been uh, in the past. A shadow of the energy being uh, that I have been brightly in the past. Okay, great question <clears throat> from uh, Liliana Devino. So let me uh, first uh, tell you something that uh, I actually declared to everyone yesterday. And I said, uh, uh, that um, in about um, six months, I'm going to totally reinvent my body. I said this on Twitter, it's now on YouTube, so I'm committed and uh, you can see me now and then see me six months from now. Okay, I'm reinventing my body. I have resurrected my soul, so that's the next step. And uh, more on that later, but I seriously mean this. Six months from now, you'll see a different body. Okay, so let's talk about um, let's talk about uh, the question that Liliana Devino has asked. If you use a physicalist ontology, ont ontology means the nature of being or existence. If your map, if your conceptual framework, if your paradigm is um, that all is physical, then it's difficult to answer your question, Liliana. Although scientists do attempt to answer this question, they use the word neg negative entropy or negentropy. And islands of order or life or biological organisms, every biological organism, plants, animals, humans, uh, bacteria are in a sense islands of negative entropy okay because they use energy uh, to maintain their biological organism of course they dispense energy also so they both use it and lose it an ideal uh, state of self-regulation or homeostasis would be where energy input and energy output um, um, stay in balance altogether, uh, stay in you know equal balance. So you have a, what you call is the net is zero at the end. 
Uh, and if that happened, by the way, then there would be no aging and there would be no entropy and there would be no what we call physical death. But as you know, people age and they die. They may age differently, but ultimately it seems entropy wins out over negentropy or negative entropy. The physicalist model explains uh, negative entropy with all kinds of theories, but none of these theories have actually panned out or <clears throat> been um, validated or falsified in the current uh, uh, scientific paradigm, which basically says that you know your body is made up of atoms and molecules, and these are the same atoms that uh, are found in rocks or in sand and the earth and the geology, even on, you know, other planets and so on. And so as long as you think that atoms and molecules are real entities, then it's very difficult to explain negative entropy. Uh, current models, uh, physicalist models say that the universe is expanding due to something called dark energy and that there are galaxies that are held together by gravity. So dark energy is anti-gravity and dark matter, which we can't see invisible, is uh, the opposing force, which is gravity. And these two kind of are playing it out, they're kind of duking it out. If there was only dark energy and no gravity, then, which of course now we know is the curvature of space-time, then the universe would rapidly expand and burn itself up in the heat death of absolute uh, zero. And if the opposite was true, there was only gra gravity, then everything would collapse into a black hole. So there would be basically no universe. And the universe is the play between dark energy and dark matter. Okay, that's a whole nother discussion based on a physicalist model that I don't buy. I think dark energy and dark matter are mathematical constructs so we can um, fit them in, into the standard model of physics and be all set. But everyone knows there are many problems right now with the standard model of physics, including the fact that the cosmological constant, dark energy, is off, um, in, um, off way off, to a magnitude of um, um, 1 in 125 orders of magnitude. So we have lots of problems. <clears throat> with the physicalist model. But if you change that, if you change that to the uh, model that we've been exploring here in You Are the Universe and in a lot of my books, including Quantum Healing, um, Perfect Health, Reinventing the Body and so on, then you understand that the biological organism is just an experience in consciousness. And as such, it's an activity in consciousness. And as such, it is a conglomeration uh, of intermittent sensations, images, feelings, thoughts, sense perceptions. And um, in a 24-hour day, we experience that. We experience sensations, images, feelings, thoughts, sense perceptions, five senses. But we also experience thoughts and feelings and emotions and desires and instincts and drives and imagination and creativity and self-reflection and all of that. In my book Super Brain and Super uh, Genes with Rudy Tanzi I've explored uh, how that happens um, based on a consciousness-based understanding of our biology as a biology is an activity in consciousness. So how do you maximize negative entropy? Well, I've mentioned before, you maximize negative entropy by good sleep, ideally eight hours a day, 
by not taking alcohol or any drugs that interfere with homeostasis. <coughs> Almost all pharmaceuticals do. By um, uh, taking care of your stress through meditation and um, by uh, cultivating healthy emotions like um, uh, love, compassion, joy, equanimity, by practicing yoga and pranayama, and by uh, making sure that you pay attention to your nutrition and that you don't uh, eat anything that comes from a factory. Irene Schenker and 18 others shared your video. Thank you very much, Irene. Okay, by making sure that your food doesn't contain toxins, petroleum products, and now I've discovered a new thing called grounding, where you can electrically connect to the uh, electromagnetic fields of our planet and restore your circadian rhythms and biological rhythms uh, through grounding devices. These grounding devices are available through jio.com. If you want, go to their marketplace and look them up or go on the internet and look them up. So uh, those are the ways you minimize entropy. Uh, how about reversing age? You know, I've written two books on that, Ageless Body, Timeless Mind, and 10 Ways to Reverse Aging. Um, 10 Ways to Reverse Aging. And they include uh, deep rest, and deep rest um, through sleep and meditation. Uh, they include changing your perception of time by being in the present moment and experiencing flow. They uh, uh, include also changing your perception of aging itself. Don't take it as a given. Um, by changing your perception of the body from a physical thing to a field of energy, information and ultimately consciousness because it's a modified form of consciousness just like a statue made of, um, of ice is a modified form of water, water vapor and ultimately uh, quantum particles. So once you change your perception of the body in those ways, aging, time, um, from physical object to consciousness, then that mindset will influence the aging process. And then the other 10 ways are mind-body coordination, things I've mentioned, okay, mind-body coordination, yoga, pranayama, love as an experience, being in the moment, and um, uh, sometimes taking nutritional supplements. So many people have now inquired, since I made this announcement, uh, what am I doing? So this is what I'm doing, okay? Number one, uh, I practice yoga and pranayama every day, seven days a week. It's about a 45-minute session. Number two, at least in New York, I uh, walk 10,000 steps every day. Sometimes I find it difficult here in California, but I do plan to walk 10,000 steps every day. Number three, I meditate every day. Um, Number four, during the yoga, of course, I also do pranayama, so that's included. Um, I make sure that I sleep eight hours a day. I am uh, always, at the moment, and I hope this will continue, having the experience of flow, which means no resistance, no, no anticipation, no regrets, um, just this moment as it is and I am eating in a very healthy manner. I do take uh, probiotics to shift my microbiome, but I also drink things like kombucha. And I take a little bit of coconut oil every day, uh, which uh, has a great tradition in Ayurveda, and I'm now feeling that it does decrease your appetite, but also maximizes your energy. And then uh, what else? I'm experimenting with CBDs. I'm sure you're familiar with CBDs. Cannabinoids, these are cannabis-derived uh, uh, compounds in which uh, the marijuana that is psychoactive has been taken out. 
and uh, then I make sure I take uh, one aspirin a day, vitamin D3 every day, and uh, I'm grounding every day. Okay, so that's it. Now, I am predicting that this will uh, totally shift everything that's happening in my biolo biology. Now, overall, I've lived a healthy lifestyle, but this particular um, this particular focus right now with everything else, grounding, cannabinoids, um, probiotics, um, vegetarian diet, um, this emphasis is uh, pretty new and grounding of course is very recent. So here's one caution, if you overdo anything you actually becoming an energy loser. So to maximize um, the energy that you have, uh, just uh, stay within the rules. Oh, one thing more, I've started experimenting with uh, fasting for 24 hours once a week. And it's going so well that I might increase it to twice a week. I uh, haven't decided yet, but I might. Okay, so those are uh, basically the key rules for reinventing the body and uh, it does mean you need to first also resurrect your soul, get in touch with your innermost being uh, which is the field of all possibilities which um, uh, basically empowers all these intentions and activities. Okay, so Thanks for asking the question, Liliana Devino. It came right on time and I hope I have answered it. Thank you for all the encouragement and supporting you are the universe, discovering your cosmic self. And hopefully I'll see you tomorrow right here on Facebook Live. Thank you and have a wonderful Sunday.